I'm Susan Bellier, and I'm the director of the Banri Foundation. Welcome to the 2022 Banri Foundation Celebration. While we meet today on a virtual platform, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the importance of the land that each of us is on as we're attending this event. I'm in Kingston, Ontario, at Queen's University, which is situated on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee peoples. I am grateful that I get to live, work, and play on this land, and I recognize and am committed to my responsibilities to the land, the life it supports, and to the peoples who have stewarded this land from time immemorial. I hope that each of you will also take a moment to think about and be thankful for the land that you are on today. At the Ben Ree Center, we have a lot to be thankful for. We are privileged to have dedicated staff and board members who keep the wheels turning. We have generous donors and supporters who have helped to create the foundation on which we do our work. We rely on a strong network of support services at Queen's University and in the Kingston community. And most of all, it's the students who make the center what it is, a warm, welcoming, and caring place of community and respect. Nearly 50 years ago, a small group of Queen's women had the foresight to establish the Banry Foundation for Continuing Education. Their vision was to support mature women students who are coming back to university. Since then, countless women have found a home away from home at the Brown Brick House at 32 Bader Lane on the Queen's campus. Today, we are gathering to celebrate, and I'm so happy you've joined us. This year's celebration video combines our two major annual events, our Spring Awards Ceremony and the Banry Foundation Inspiring Women Awards. When we realized that both events would have to be virtual again this year, we decided why not bring everyone together for one big celebration. We will begin our evening with our Inspiring Women Awards. Each year, we put out a call for nominations and women are nominated in two categories. The Banry Foundation Mentorship Award, which goes to a Queen's University woman faculty member who has inspired and mentored students and the Banry Foundation Leadership Award, which goes to a woman who is a community leader who has been inspirational in the broader Kingston community. Our pool of nominees is always stellar and choosing among them is never easy. We have a lot to celebrate tonight. And before we begin, I want to remind everyone that today is International Women's Day. What a fitting day to celebrate the outstanding women you will meet here tonight. A distinguished career at Queen's University, where Dr. Rena Eupidus has been named Professor Emerita of Education and Sustainability, is just one in an impressive list of achievements by this year's recipient of the Banry Foundation Mentorship Award. Rena's remarkable intellect and yearning spirit have led her to explore a wide spectrum of creative realms. Informed by a desire to forge deep connections with the natural world, her work has long engaged in experiential learning, research, and social activism. She has become fluent in a range of educational spheres, including arts, digital literacy, mathematics, sustainability, and architectural design. She has also developed a unique capacity for one-on-one -on -one communication that has inspired and nurtured countless students and colleagues. In settings that might include a poetry retreat, a nature walk at Wintergreen Studios, or a lively dinner table. Rena brings to life complex theoretical ideas while encouraging her protégés to engage. With her holistic approach to mentorship, Rena continues to change the lives of those who have joined her on her journey of lifelong learning. My name is Rena Eupidus. I teach at Queen's University in the Faculty of Education and also in the School of Sustainability Studies. 
I am truly delighted to be the 2022 recipient of the Inspiring Women Mentorship Award. Delighted, and I have to say surprised. There were five women who nominated me for this award, and I knew nothing of it. This is unusual for an award. Usually when someone's nominated, they say, are you all right about being nominated? Can you help us with the nomination? But these five women went ahead and did it on their own. They come from many walks of life. They come from different parts of my professional life at Queen's and my professional life outside of Queen's. So I thank Barbara Lang, who spearheaded the nomination and who's presently a doctoral student of mine. Rosie Kerr, a former doctoral student. Karen Bowes, another former doctoral student. Both of them have jobs, by the way. Leah Mighton, who was one of my B.Ed. students several years ago and who worked at Wintergreen Studios for a long while after she graduated. And Monica Capavilla, also a student of mine from Queen's, from the Bachelor of Education program, who now serves as the executive director at Wintergreen. I'm telling you all these details about these five women because our lives are now interconnected. One of the things about mentorship, when I really unpack that term, is about the trusted relationships and the reciprocity that form when mentor and mentee really mean something to each other. I think a good mentor advises, guides, listens, and inspires, but doesn't tell. And certainly over the years, I've learned that those people who've mentored me are the ones who have helped me find a way to grow that's in my own image and not theirs. I love the fact that these five women are all incredibly similar and incredibly different. Their interests are different, their backgrounds are different, but they came together to do this because the one thing they share is, I think, very much the spirit of the Banry Center. They embody a deep wish to create a better world, a more just world, a more joyful world. And if I've done anything in that journey with them, for them, along with them, then maybe that's why they thought to nominate me. So I am grateful and thankful to the members of the committee and the board who made this decision, and I truly honor the honor that you have extended to me. Thank you. Since her arrival from Mexico in 2016, the warmth, generosity, and natural compassion of this year's recipient of the Banry Foundation Leadership Award has had a remarkable impact on Kingston. Alejandra Zamora Flores has put her many skills to work in community agencies and facilities, including Keys Job Center, where she's taken part in youth and newcomer mentoring programs and supported vulnerable young people who face discrimination or isolation the Skeleton Park Arts Festival, the Kingston Community Health Center, the Kingston Latino Association, the Equity Committee at Central Public School, and local and regional school boards where Ale has shared her insights into the systemic barriers faced by BIPOC and immigrant children. Her warmth and enthusiasm have also left their mark closer to home. At Kingston Cooperative Homes, Ale quickly embraced the spirit of harmonious living, spearheading opportunities for learning, play, and personal growth by planning a children's community garden, helping to acquire outdoor play equipment, and setting up classes for activities like Tai Chi, yoga, hip-hop, and dance for residents of all ages and abilities. The Banry Foundation Leadership Award is our way of recognizing Ale for the many welcome gifts she has brought to our community. Hello, uh, my name is Ale Zamora. I'm a Mexican who came to Kingston in July 2016. I moved uh, to this new country with my family, Mike, my husband, and my two children, Sandy and Adeline. And today I'm here to acknowledge all the people who has contributed to my life and the ways I'm grateful with them. <laughs> 
I, I want to say thank you to my friends that support this nomination with wonderful messages saying things that I've done, put my name in front of things that we've done together. I wouldn't, I wouldn't done anything in this life without you in Kingston. Uh, we create a equity comedy in our kids' school with Laura, Laura and, and Chris and other parents, Hannah, uh, Joe, Shannon, Marnie. And we've been transforming our kids' lives for the good. Uh, here at the co-op with Kimberly and, and Bob and my kids and my husband, we built together with our hands and our minds and our hearts, a beautiful garden who has given not only vegetables and fruit and flowers, but friendship. And I want to also acknowledge the people that I'm working, uh, helping newcomer children to go to school. Uh, principals, vice principals, especially in Calvin Park and, and LCVI, they they know Kate and Wilma and other teachers, ESL team, they know how to support newcomer children. And we have learning together how to break uh, inequity in our classrooms, in your classrooms and in our society. I wanna say gracias desde el fondo de mi corazón. Gracias a mis amigos y a mi familia it's too much. <laughs> a esta hermosa comunidad que me ha dado la bienvenida y que me ha aceptado a pesar de todas las barreras que he enfrentado como mujer. <laughs> what did you say? I have to say it in my language because it's the language of my family and the language of love for me. I thank my family and I thank my new friends and my new family in Kingston. Thank you for accepting, accepting me in your life and in your hearts, regardless who I am as a woman, as a racialized woman, You've been helping me to break barriers in, in this society. Together, the people who nominate me, <laughs> we've been done a lot of work as community because we know that Kingston needs to walk towards equity and justice. That if we don't walk together, we won't walk at, at all. If children from other backgrounds, other languages, other countries are not welcome, we are not welcome at all. This, this award is just bringing up emotions that I, I, I thought I was a work overcoming, but they're not. Breaking barriers, it is a hard work, and not only for me, but for all of you who helped me and, and for the new children that are coming and the new families that are arriving, they deserve and I honor them with this award because, because of them, because of their smile and their joy that they bring, it gave us the courage to continue. And I'm just hopeful that in the future we will see, I will see one of these girls walking into these shoes. I don't doubt it. I just hope that the spaces are open for them as they are being open for me. Thank you.
Hello, I'm Britta B, a fellow spoken word poet from Kingston, Ontario. I wanted to take some time to send my cheers and snaps your way to celebrate all of the inspiring women being recognized tonight. Maybe you're someone who is multitasking school and work and family commitments. Maybe you're a newcomer or immigrant. It's possible that you are being acknowledged for excelling in the face of adversity. And I want to congratulate you from the bottom of my heart. Enjoy tonight and feel proud. You deserve to feel proud of yourself. Hello, my name is Jamila. I am one of the student advisor at the Boundary Center. For those who are not familiar with the Boundary Center, we welcome all mature women students at Queen's University. We welcome part-time students, full-time students, graduate or undergraduate students, and we also welcome students on professional programs. So we hope that um, mature women student at Queen's University will find a home away from home at the center. Our goal is to provide support to mature women students. Uh, we provide financial support, academic support, and confidential uh, personal support as well. So the Bandy Center has been and will continue to be a warm place for students to come in, have a bowl of soup, a cup of tea, and also it's a place to find a community um, of supportive peers. For uh, over 25 years, uh, the Bandy Center has uh, been celebrating the achievement and determination of mature women students. Um, so this year, 13 students will be receiving awards. These awards has been established by supporters who, whose generous gifts allow the Boundary Foundation to continue this tradition of Spring Awards. Please join me to congratulate this year's Spring Awards winners. Thank you so much. The Diane McKenzie Awards were established in 1997 to honor Dr. Jean Hill, Dean of Nursing, from 1968 to 1977. These awards celebrate determined women students in the field of nursing. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipients. Hello, my name is Dawn Armstrong. I am a fourth year medical student. I will be graduating in a few weeks and I am the recipient of the Diane McKenzie Award. I um, This is my first year applying and my first year receiving an award and I cannot express how grateful I am for the Banry Center and the uh, Diane McKenzie Award um, for granting me this. This will be a really big help for my um, young growing family in a time where I'm um, not really participating in any uh, um, financial needs to my family and just incurring debt uh, and student loans. So I am really appreciative and I want to extend um, my gratitude and my appreciation for this award. Uh, I really look forward to um, growing a career in my future and being able to give back in a similar way to um, mature uh, women returning to school. So thank you very much um, for this award. I it will um, I will never forget it. Thank you. Have um, a wonderful year. Hi, my name is Emily Thaw, and I'm one of the student recipients of the Diane McKenzie Award for Determined Female Students. I think that motivation and determination don't just spontaneously manifest in people. I think for people to be motivated and reach their goals, they need to be inspired and well-supported. 
So today, I'm beyond honored to share my deepest gratitude to those who have not only inspired me, but who have also supported me throughout my academic journey. So thank you so much to my friends, um, my family, my mentors, my supervisors, as well as Queen's University. I would also like to share a very special thank you to the Ben Re Center, which has not only provided financial support through this award, but has also uh, supported me through compassion and uh, kindness and creating the most welcoming and relaxing space on the Queen's campus. So with that being said, to all the staff at Ben Re, as well as the awards committee, and the donors, thank you so much because you really have no idea how much your kindness and generosity truly means. The Mildred Blackadder Zonta Club of Kingston Bursary was created in 1998 to honor the volunteer work of Mildred Blackadder. Established by the Zonta Club of Kingston, the award is intended to honor an Indigenous student. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient. Kante, Candace Lloyd de Shinkashun, Ni Michif, Master's Candidate at Queen's University, Kachimikwich Benry, Mildred Blackadder, Zonta Award. Greetings. My name is Candace Lloyd, and I'm a Metis adult student at Queen's University in the Master's program. It is with heartfelt gratefulness that I am accepting the Mildred Black Adder Zonta Award through the Banri Center. This award provides me with the opportunity to continue my educational journey by reducing financial burdens. I appreciate the continued support and guidance that the staff at Banri have always provided me. I am thankful for the continued support within the community that allows me to reach my higher educational goals. Kachi Mikwich, Bamapi. The Barbara Schlafer Book Prize was established in 2012 by friends of the Ban Ray Center, co-workers at Queen's University, and friends and family to honor Barb's contribution over her nearly 30-year association with the Ban Ray Center. This gift certificate is awarded to a woman studying at Queen's University who would benefit from the opportunity to extend her learning through reading. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Arif, and I'm honored to be accepting the Banry Center's Barbara Schlafer Book Prize. My time as a Queen's student has not been easy, and to be recognized by the amazing Banry Center is truly humbling. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mary Lou Finley, a journalist and writer in Toronto. I was very glad to hear that Van Rie is uh, again this year celebrating its outstanding women on the Queen's campus. I remember a number of years ago how impressed I was by the drive and determination and achievements of the young women who uh, received their awards at the Spring Gala. I'm sure that the women who will be receiving awards this year uh, are no less outstanding, that you have managed to balance the demands of home and work and school and isolation especially this year, isolation. Congratulations to all of you. I wish you sincerest good luck in all your studies and your careers. Stay vaxxed. The Merriam-Webb Award was created in 1986 to acknowledge the challenges that accompany being away from familiar surroundings and adapting to a completely new environment. This award is intended for a student over the age of 25 who is a newcomer to Canada or the daughter of a newcomer to Canada. Congratulations to this year's recipient. Hi, I'm Hamon Lau 
first year student of graduate diploma in immigration and citizenship law. I'm very thankful for being the recipient of the Marian Webb Award, which acknowledges the challenges associated with my family's transitioning to a new environment here in Canada and being away from all that is familiar to us in Hong Kong. Thank you so much for applauding all of the ways that my children and I have adapted to this new chapter in our lives. In response to the unstable political situation in Hong Kong and the government of Canada's immigration goals, I hope to serve not only children in my capacity as a teacher previously, but also their parents who wish to immigrate to Canada, which has voted the best country in the world in 2021. So I started my legal journey at Queen's in preparation for becoming a licensed immigration consultant. I'd like to thank a couple of significant people in my life, my parents, Iroh and Albert, Tony, Keon and Kiana. Thank you for your unconditional love. Not only they gave me encouragement to stay strong for myself and my children, but they also gave me resources I needed for a smooth transition from Hong Kong to Canada. This experience always reminds me of the importance of helping others in need. Marianne Webb Award will financially support my completion of graduate diploma in immigration and citizenship law, which is a prerequisite of becoming a licensed immigration consultant. Upon my successful registration as a licensed immigration consultant, I will focus on assisting women and their children in their immigration applications. Thank you very much for your gracious support in celebrating the character and determination of mature women students at Queen's University. Thank you so much. The Barbara Paul Prize celebrates a graduating student who combines academics with family responsibilities and who has faced and overcome significant barriers. The prize is a beautiful medallion handcrafted by local goldsmith Kim Snyder and cast in sterling silver and 18 karat gold. Congratulations to this year's recipient. Hello, my name is Gaia Onuraj. I'm an international graduate student in the Department of Sociology at Queen's University. I am also a single mother. This is my final year in the PhD program at Queen's. Um, I'm interested in political philosophy and political sociology, which I believe uh, can offer new insights in understanding the current sociopolitical crisis across the world. I particularly focus on how power and resistance coexist and cooperate, especially on civil society. I am honored to be the recipient of the Barbara Paul Prize this year. I would like to thank Ben Rhee Center um, for their amazing support and assistance in difficult times of mature uh, graduate women students at Queen's who have to cope with um, academic duties and family responsibilities at the same time. I would like to thank my family, my parents, and my twin sister Gamze for their amazing support, for always being there throughout the program. And finally, I'd like to thank my son Barish, which means peace in English, who believes in me and my superpowers. Thank you. The Troop Ballantine Fund is awarded for academic merit in the field of health sciences. Congratulations to this year's recipient. Hi, my name is Gina and I would like to thank you for this award. As a daughter of Chinese immigrants, of parents who never went to post-secondary school, this award is very meaningful to me. They always raised me to appreciate the importance of education and pursuing my passions and this is something that they didn't get to experience growing up. I would also like to thank my mom, my dad, my three siblings, my partner and all my friends that have supported me along this journey. Thank you. The Janet Bilton Holst citation is given to a woman who, like Janet Bilton Holst, enriches the Banry Center by her presence and contributions to the well-being of her fellow students. Congratulations to this year's winner. Hello, my name is Laura Scott and I'm a PhD student here at Queens. I'm very grateful to receive this year's Janet Bilton Holst Award. 
Thank you to the Bannery Selection Committee and to the Board of Directors for choosing me. I understand that during her time at the Bannery Center, Janet was a warm and encouraging presence and that this award is meant to reflect her attributes. So although I'm honored to receive this, the truth is that I originally joined the Banri community for the warm soup and for the encouraging people. And so to hear that I'm being rewarded for the very things that I sought to receive feels like a double blessing indeed. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all of you being recognized by the Banri Center this year. My name is Stephanie Simpson and I'm the Associate Vice Principal, Human Rights, Equity and Inclusion. And I wish to join the Center in applauding all of you for your great work and for your perseverance during these difficult times. And most of all, for the important gifts that you bring to this community. Thank you. You are truly an inspiration and I wish you the very best. The Barbara Paul Memorial Award is intended to assist a graduating student who combines academia and family or work responsibilities. Congratulations to this year's winner. Hello everyone. I'm extremely honored to be receiving Barbara Paul Memorial Award, which means a lot to me. I'm so grateful for the recognition I have received for my work. Thank you so much. Um, I have faced many challenges during my studies as an international PhD student, but I believe each one of them has um, strengthened me to prepare myself for my future professional career and the contribution I hope to make in the area of my expertise, um, which I won't lose sight of it unless it is achieved. Uh, here, I would like to thank uh, my supervisor, Professor Marcus Taylor, for whom I have the deepest respect and from whom I have received lots of inspiration and learned a lot to perform better in my research. Uh, I'm so lucky for the gift of uh, having an amazing family, my lovely son, Roddy, and my dear friends, Nazila, Natalie, Gino, Zahra, Parisa, Razi, and other friends who have been supporting and encouraging me a lot. Especially thank you so much, and for helping me to manage my child raising responsibilities and for being present whenever I need a hand. Last but not least, I would like to sincerely thank Susan, Lisa, and Jamila, who are doing an amazing job in Barry Center to keep it warm and welcoming for students. This little house is really a home away from home. You guys are so loved and so special to us and you are doing a great job. Thank you so much. The Carol Kinnear Bursary is awarded to a woman who is beginning or returning to university studies after an interruption in her formal education. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient. I am the 2022 recipient of the Carol Kinnear Award at Queen's University through the Banry Center for Mature Women Students. First of all, I would like to express my appreciation and gratitude to the Kinnear family for their generosity and insight in establishing this award in the first place, which recognizes the challenges faced by mature women students who have been away from academia for an extended period and then return to academia to finish their research and degree. Next, I would like to thank and acknowledge the Board of Directors at the Banry Center for Mature Women Students at Queen's University for selecting me to be the recipient of the Carol Kinnear Award and recognizing the importance and timeliness of my graduate research in law in the field of uh, law enforcement officer involved domestic violence. Next, I would like to acknowledge and thank and express my gratitude to my adopted mom and dad
for their absolutely unyielding, undying support over many, many years. Support and encouragement and love and hours and hours of prayer as I have pursued um, an understandably sensitive area of research. Um, and finally, but not least of all, I would like to express my love and appreciation for my greatest inspiration in pursuing this line of research, my daughter. Um, I would like to let you know I am so very proud of you and your example of what a wonderful, resilient, strong, independent woman can be um, who's overcome many, many challenges and has inspired me to be relentlessly tenacious as I um, pursue legislative reform in um, the area of law enforcement officer involved domestic violence. Thank you. The Elizabeth Wallace Bursary was given to a student embarking on the first year of her academic journey. Congratulations to this year's recipient. Hello everyone, I am Azim Adani. I'm a PhD student at Queen's University studying civil engineering. Uh, I'm honored to be accepted for this award and it is a really good way to say thank you for all of your support through this video uh, because it, it is really helpful for me and all students, especially international students because we are far from our families and their support. Uh, I don't know when exactly you will see this video, uh, but uh, it is December 30 now. So I wish a great year for all of you and all people around the world. Thank you again and have a perfect year without any disease and without any COVID-19 anymore. <laughs> Thank you again. Bye-bye. The Dorothy Matheson Parnell Bursary was established by Dorothy Matheson Parnell, who received her BA from Queens in 1940. This year, the bursary comprises two awards, both of which acknowledge the many challenges faced by single mothers pursuing a university degree. Congratulations to this year's recipients. Hi, Barry Center. My name is Natalie Zhang. I'm a second year student at Queens Law. I'm honored to be selected one of the two recipients of the Dorothy Matheson Parnell bursaries. I have overcome many challenges and walked a long journey to this point. I'm a convention refugee and a single mother of two young children. I was a shelter resident and an Ontario Works recipient. I have always had a passion for family justice. As a
Hi, I'm Connie Taylor, one of the co-chairs of the Board of Directors of the Ban Re Foundation. And on behalf of all of the board, I'd like to congratulate this year's award winners, both the students who received their spring awards and the amazing women who've accepted their inspiring women's awards. And to all of you who joined us for this virtual celebration, many thanks. We look forward to your continued support and we hope we'll see you next year.